The Australian Earth and Environmental Science Olympiad has been delivered online for the first time in a truly and totally virtual environment. The Olympiad is a part of the ASI not-for-profit organisation. We have major partners in ANU and the Australian Government and supporters, including the Australian Geoscience Council, who we thank. The Olympiad program involves recruiting students by a national exam each year. We have uh, students from years 9, 10 and 11 sitting a very demanding exam. We take the 24th highest achievers uh, and put them through a January summer school. But in 2021, we actually have done this with 30 students in an online environment that uh, enabled us to take the online opportunity to increase the cohort and to give more students an experience as well as still select a good team for the International Earth Science Olympiad in 2021. The Earth Science Summer School is normally held on campus, but that can't happen and didn't happen in 2020. It won't happen in 2021. Uh, the July camp is used to train up people so they attend the um, international competition once we've selected a team, but that didn't happen in 2020 and it won't happen in 2021. We can't uh, get the students to meet key people face to face. We can't get the students to see wonderful laboratories and talk to the researchers and developers face to face. We can't actually take the students in the field and show them a true field experience and teach them the field skills that they might need to know at a normal IESO. We can't even meet with the students in a social way and have a bit of fun along the way. So uh, preparing students for the International Earth Science Olympiad is one of the reasons why we do this. Of course, the other reason is simply to give our students a good earth science experience. The competition that we attend first started in 2007. It's held in a different nation each year, but of course, 2020 being what it was, that didn't happen. We couldn't do theoretical, practical or individual team competitions. Uh, so the organizers in Russia canceled the event. However, when we do get to attend events, um, we do pretty well. And in 2021, Russia is now uh, hosting an online environment, uh, but we're yet to see the actual format of that and how we might be able to prepare our students for it. How did we address the problems of um, getting around these face-to-face -face needs that we would normally have in a summer school? We ran lots of pre-summer school activities using our Moodle. Um, we set assignments and readings. So here's a fossil assignment where students got fossils in the mail and had to use some information we sent them to identify them. We asked them to do a project on their local environment and they did some terrific jobs showing us different aspects of their local environments, remembering that these students are from all around Australia. Here's just some examples. We had some fun too, uh, encouraging them to make their own profile images for Zoom and Moodle and backgrounds for Zoom that might meet the, um, the topic of the day in the lecture series. <clears throat> we did actually send students a support pack including rocks, minerals, fossils, some hardness kit materials, as well as some advertising and other information collateral from the likes of Geoscience Australia. Um, synchronous and asynchronous lectures via Zoom worked pretty well. The Zoom files worked very well, and we used uh, Q&A Zoom chats all the time. Uh, breakout rooms worked particularly well with sending five or six students into a room with a mentor, with to do mineral ID and to brainstorm topic challenges. Uh, we also sent them off to do activities in their own homes, and we shared those uh, results in uh, an online program called Padlet. So here's a Padlet of modeling plastic uh, sediments using materials in the household. There's another example. Here's an example of using um, uh, a little paper clonometer to work out dip and strike using household objects as the um, dipping surface. We also sent them outside to look at their local environments. And here's an example of them taking photographs of clouds and using information well, in their discussions to uh, identify what clouds are in the landscape. Um, morning coffee and tea with the staff uh, and students uh, before lectures was actually worthwhile doing. We had some nice casual chats and not lessons. So we got to know the students a bit better as well. Um, we also uh, were conscious that we didn't want students in front of the screen 24 hours a day, not even 12 hours a day. So we didn't um, set any work in the evenings, but we did have guest lectures zoom in um, between seven o'clock and eight o'clock. Uh, they weren't examinable, but they had some very good content and the students really enjoyed them. Uh, we broke out the uh, topics into a week of geosphere topics. We had some guest lectures on the free Sunday. 
Um, we had uh, a week where we covered uh, a bit of astronomy and uh, atmosphere and hydrosphere as well, going into a more asynchronous set of learnings as we did so, uh, and more off-screen at home activities as well. We also ran a games night or two where we used things like Scriblio to engage in a bit of fun with the students in the evenings. And um, we also uh, set aside the last weekend for study or rest and a three hour exam on the final Monday. What did we learn from all this? Well, forums that uh, we set up on the Moodle were very good at engaging students who were very keen to meet their peers. They used greater engagement this year than they've ever used before. And the vets divide a very tough school year. They were very keen to learn and willing to tolerate lots of technical issues. And maybe that's a benefit of COVID because they've been through a lot worse before they got to us when it comes to technical issues, I'm pretty sure. Um, we also sent students samples in the mail uh, that created expectations and interest. Um, it was also uh, not without its problems due to some delays and some things missing from parcels when they arrived, but nonetheless, it worked out pretty well. Um, we did learn that uh, we had a long lean time, but we didn't necessarily make the best of it, especially when it came to developing asynchronous materials like recorded lectures. Um, and the planning and ideas that we came up with didn't always match our ability to deliver outcomes. We also found that the webcams talking with um, students about specimens uh, proved a bit tricky if we didn't have the right quality lip, um, cameras. Uh, Zoom backgrounds definitely needed to be turned off, otherwise your specimens would completely disappear on you all the time. And lighting in the background was always an issue um, no matter uh, who was talking. Students, um, we found, would also engage at any opportunity. If we, The breakout rooms and polls worked terrifically well. They really enjoyed doing the Padlet activities. Scriblet was a lot of fun. Um, so all in all, I think that all worked very well. Um, Moodle worked perfectly as our go-to place for all our resources and materials, including our quizzes and exams. Um, but we didn't make effective use of other online resources that are already in, the, in, in existence, 3D rock and mineral samples, for example, or online field trips. And we could have um, done with a better range of, um, of games like Scriblio, um, especially ones that worked with a slightly larger cohort than six or eight people in a room. But otherwise, um, I'm very satisfied with that. We also found that Zoom was an excellent stable platform and that the back rooms that we use for staff development and work, uh, Google Docs and Slack, worked very well because we had staff all over Australia uh, and they worked well for solving problems and identifying problems as well as writing shared ideas uh, and um, developing shared exams. Uh, keeping that staff um, enthusiasm camaraderie was important and they, they worked very well for doing that. So what does that mean for the future? Well, we were going to hold a training camp in April, a face-to-face -face one. That's not going to happen because of COVID. So now we're back to having another three hours um, of exams and then choosing 10 students to attend this camp, which is now going to be virtual, um, which means we'll need to explore more online resources and maybe even build our own between now and April to make better use of the uh, opportunities that we found in the 3D online world that have yet not uh, managed to quite get there with delivery. So thank you very much for listening. This is our wonderful um, alumni from the last five years. Any questions?